Obviously, there, is, um, there, there are global impacts that could all of a sudden materialize stronger than we've seen them before. That could be anything between a large political crisis, uh, a natural catastrophe, anything like that. This is beyond our control. But there are certain, how shall I say, tendencies. We could see the last two months, frankly, the mild bond crash we had, we've seen in Germany in particular, in Europe in general, the last few weeks is, from my point of view, a micro lab about what <clears throat> on the equity levels may happen in the future. So what will we see? <clears throat> the Fed will increase its rate. I have no clue. Nobody has really a clue whether that happens in the last quarter of this year, in the first or second quarter of next year. But what we know is it will happen. Obviously, it, it, it is interrelated to how much the Fed is ready to see the dollar further rising and at what point in time compared to um, the macroeconomic results of the American industry, the Fed thinks <coughs> that could be affordable. But it will happen. And one thing is also clear. When that happens, it gives a signal to investors around the globe that the time of cheap interest is starting to end. I fully agree with you that this end period is more or less a very long-lasting one. So I don't think that the question that Robert Schiller and Larry Summers have made up between themselves is to any extent relevant, because it only means we don't know whether that is three years, four years, five years, or rather six years. But what we know is that it will come. So and if that is the case, I think the increase in Fed rates in six to nine months' time will set for the first time the scenario to many market participants that it will happen. And if I'm going to invest today, and of course the question you ask, could we stop, is obviously no for many reasons. But my question is more, should we stop? Not could we stop. There are many reasons that we can stop. But if we would be in an ideal world and we have a scenario of three to four to five years ahead of us when we know this is coming and if we have to take an investment decision now, it may mean that when interest rise, when pricing gets and risk pricing gets back to normal, discount cash flow gets from zero to a higher level, then obviously uh, we will think about whether it makes sense to invest now, whether we will find ourselves in the great times of reassessment when that happens. That's the way I look forward. If Black Swan comes, that will be even more enhanced, obviously.